welcome back my peeps happy new year hope y'all all had a really great and wonderful holiday season i don't know but that went by so fast i mean like i think faster than i ever remember i mean it, it like went by so fast but anyway so is january new beginnings let's pray that this year is the year that things get better for us you know with all this covid and all this other stuff going around but i also hope it's a year that we have fun making and crafting together and um i know that the next season coming up is valentine's as you can see i have a little bit of valentine's already going on around here but <clears throat> since we have a little bit of time before we get into valentine's i'm gonna go back to, i'm gonna do a couple of basic videos because i have requests for this video for um pretty long time people keep asking me the same thing same thing and i said i'm gonna get to it one day i'm gonna get to it one day and today is the day what are we talking about? Sprinkles. We gonna, I'm going to show you about five, six or more ways to make sprinkles, right? I'm going to show you how to gather your sprinkles, um, like from Dollar Tree or whatever. So I'm going to start, since it's going to be Valentine's season coming up, I'm going to show you some, like... These are not sprinkles. These are like, um, what you call them? Like cabochons and like cute little add-ons that you get. All the, everything you see in here, except for these, I made these. I got from the Dollar Tree. I got these hearts from the Dollar Tree. See that? They come in pink and in red. Here are the pink ones. Oop. Right? The pink ones. I got these cute little lips, red lips. I got some of these like diamond stones. I'm just dropping everything on the floor. And I also got these from Dollar Tree. They got more, they got like, um, they like a faceted heart. Like it got like little cutouts on it. Then I got these small little diamond thingies and then they have these like little um scatter is what they call it but it's some pretty you can use these as sprinkles too okay so that's one way to gather your sprinkles buy them by the season because they'll have some for easter they'll have some for i don't have none for easter but anyway this box is from Dollar Tree too. So I'm gonna show you some other Dollar Tree um stuff I got. So I got these from Dollar Tree this year. These pumpkins. I got acorns from Dollar Tree. I got these um orange like ice cube looking things. These I got from Hobby Lobby. Like these leaves and stuff. This came from Hobby Lobby. But it was, how much was it? It was like 50% off. So it was like $2 for a big bag. You get these, this came in the bag too. But, um, Dollar Tree usually has stuff going on. I got these from Dollar Tree. These gold beads, they... I bought them in the Christmas, the season that just passed. They had them in gold, silver, and red. Use them as sprinkles all year round. I mean, if you can see a little red one in there. You use this as sprinkles all year long. That's why when you see it, you get it. You add it to your collection. You don't have to spend a lot of money on, you know. I do have some fake um, sprinkles that I buy online because they're cute. And it's easier for me to buy it than to make it myself. But some things... You could just get from the Dollar Tree, which I don't know if your Dollar Tree went to a dollar twenty-five. My Dollar Tree is just still a dollar. 
So as long as they still a dollar, I'ma rack up. It's because I know one day it's gonna turn to a dollar twenty-five. A lot of people already had their dollar trees gone to a dollar twenty-five. So you could use this from the Dollar Tree. These necklaces and stuff. You take this. Let me show you. You cut it open. Oh. God, they got it stapled and tied up. So you take it and you cut them. And you get you some individual... Uh, Little hearts. You just take your necklace, cut it up, cut the necklace up, you know, cut it good so you don't have no extra threads around there. But look, you got tiny little hearts, and they make these for Easter, they make these for uh, 4th of July. I mean, sometimes you don't even know what to expect the season they make them for because. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, they got necklaces. They got them from Mardi Gras. Look. Got you a whole bunch of little hearts. That's sprinkles too. Right? And I do have some. These are from. This is from Christmas sprinkles. These sprinkles are from Christmas. I got gummy bears I bought from Amazon. These candies are from Hobby Lobby Christmas. I made these gummy bears with resin. And it, it's just... I have a sprinkle problem, okay? Now, you can find, like, fake M&M's online. I did not make these. I bought them. These are fake m and You can get all kinds of fake candy. Look at these candies. They look so real, too. Look. They look so real. You know, like those soft mint candies you eat? And then they have stuff like this. You know, little lollipops and, you know, whatever. I'll put links down below to all the fake um these are like the accent pieces but i you know you guys seen my sprinkle collection before it's out of control it really is but let me give you a quick i have sprinkles for like every season these are all fake valentine's easter spring whatever and these i just just got my Christmas, Christmas and Halloween and fall and stuff. Yes. This this case is not from Hobby Lobby. I mean, from Dollar Tree. This is a bigger one. It came from, you can find it at Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, Michael's, anywhere. But let's get on to the fake stuff you can do at home for yourself. Okay. So the first thing we're going to start with is rubber bands. I got this pack. I did go to Dollar Tree, but for some reason, I went to like three Dollar Trees. And they do have, you know, rubber bands like this, but they were sold out. So I had to go to Walmart. So this cost $1.32 at Walmart, this whole pack with all these colors, which was a good deal. So what you do, right... You get your rubber bands and you you know you grab whatever like if you only want pink you only grab pink but if you want like multicolor grab you one of each right I'm gonna grab one of each well not one of each but enough so what I do I make sure that you don't have two of them together. Not that it matters once you cut them up. I take them all at once. And I'm going to cut them. Cut them just like. Just make one cut. Then I take it. 
and I'll stretch it. Hold on, let me get a, a plate so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on. It don't it won't show up good on my pink over here, but so I just cut them. So I have it like in a strip, right? Then you're just going to take them with your scissor and just cut them into pieces. And that's going to make you... This is low cost. Yes, you can buy sprinkles. You can buy them. But I'm giving you low cost options. So anybody can make sprinkles. I want everybody to be able to fake bake, have cute sprinkles on their fake bakes. All right, let me bring it down to the corner so you can see what I did. It's rubber, so, but anyway, look. See that? It, it's time consuming, you know, but you sit down while you're watching TV or while you are watching a movie or something and you cut you up some sprinkles. Look. See that they look nice i'm about to cut me up some i already started cutting some up in here and i put them in here because i'm gonna save these and i'm gonna use them i like these colors and i like that they're a little bit see-through so it makes them like you know like um a little bit more shinier than like uh polymer clay polymer clay is kind of matte and dull it's not really but these, these sprinkles, they look pretty, right? That's one kind of sprinkle with rubber bands, right? So we're going to put these away. So we got rubber bands. Next, I found this at Dollar Tree. It's a lanyard bracelet kit. But when I saw it, I was like, mm, we're not making no bracelet. We're going to make some sprinkles so i already opened it up actually i already made some sprinkles as you can see so you just take it oh take it out the um pack and you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the um rubber band but this is already in a strip so you don't have to um cut it in half you just get you some Oh, you know how when you try to do stuff nice? Look, bro. Anyways, I'm going to just take two. You take as many as you. See, this is so long. You could cut this in half or cut this down so it could be manageable. I'm going to cut it down right here. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did with the other one. You're just going to cut. This is pretty too because it's kind of see-through. And you cut it in strips, I mean, in pieces, tiny pieces. Or if you want bigger pieces, that's up to you. I'm just giving you the idea. Right? Again. Here go your sprinkles. You see that? And then you have some like this. And these look so pretty. You see that? And lanyards. Even if you go to Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby, it's not expensive. You could get a lot of lanyard for very cheap. You get like a pack with different colors for like five dollars, and that's a good. I mean, it might sound like a lot, but you will get a lot of sprinkles out of it. Trust me. So, listen, I ain't got time for this right now. So, these are the lanyard sprinkles. We're going to put them to the side, right? And then, this is um, toothpicks. You take your toothpick, a regular old toothpick, and you paint it whatever color you want. You paint them whatever color you want. And then what you're going to do 
is you're going to cut them. Let's get the scissors. This is my Dollar Tree scissor, so I don't care if it get messed up. I don't know. We're going to have to cut like one by one. And it's probably going to go flying. Oh, no, it's not that bad. I don't know if this is going to work out too good because... I just thought of it as an idea, but you know what? I don't think it's good with the scissor. Let me try with this. Let's see if it works better with like a wire cutter. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yep, it cuts better with a wire cutter. I don't know if you guys would like this idea too much, but it's a, you know, it's low cost budget friendly but I'm not too crazy about this and I'm gonna let y'all see it but what you could do is while you're cutting it shield it and then it won't be flying all over the place you know but anyways this is the wood pieces I don't think y'all gonna like that too much I don't like it, but it's an idea. I mean, I'm sure probably if you take your time and uh, and do it, it'd be better than what I did. But I'm just throwing the idea out there, right? Then, the next one, <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on, let me throw this out because I need that. So the next idea is phone plate I ain't bring my damn phone phone play over here but let me go get I thought I brought it but I did but the next one is phone play With your phone play, you're just going to take a little piece. Let's move this out the way. We don't need that right now. So with your phone play, you're just going to take um, the tiniest piece. You're going to, I mean, you're going to roll this down. I mean, this is, like, I'm talking about, look. I'm talking about, like, and you're just going to roll you still got to, you know, make sure you, um, mash it up and stuff, make it, and you're just going to roll this skinny as possible. Uh, it depends on what size sprinkle you want. You might not want it so skinny, bro. Right? You're going to roll it. Why these why, why this stuff be acting up when I as soon as I start you gonna roll it skinny like that in any color you want you want paint you want whatever color you want roll out as many strips as you want I already have some only thing about it is that you gotta leave it out and let it dry you gotta let it dry 100% and you're gonna get sticks like this right and once you do that, guess what? Get you a scissor and get to cutting. These these are my, some of my favorite sprinkles, like that I've made. I like the lanyard and the rubber band one, and the, but this one is right here. It comes before that. It's my favorite, and I'm gonna show you right now. It's very cost effective. You don't need a lot of model magic to make it and you can make tons tons of sprinkles in every color model magic comes in a lot of color and if you get you a white one and you add some acrylic paint to it you can make any color you think of now if you want like black or red or you know a highly pigmented color i suggest you just buy that color of model magic but look, 
Well, this piece is kind of big. So let's cut that down. But look at these sprinkles. They look so good. Look. Look at them. They look like polymer clay sprinkles. But they not. And I love it. And you could just sprinkle them on just like regular old sprinkles. Um, like the regular fake sprinkles you buy online or whatever. Just make them any color you want. Bro, this is taking longer than I want it to take. Alright, so we are gonna, um, move along, move along. See if I could get these in here. Oop, I almost dropped them all. See, that's how it happens. Alright, listen, I ain't got time for that. That's... That's not polymer. That's um, model magic. Hold on. I'm going to get this one over here. So I can sort it out later. Do you hear them? They sound just like sprinkles. Like regular old sprinkles. Right? So that's another one. Then you have polymer clay. Right? So polymer clay... I'm sure you guys seen videos of polymer clay. You need an extruder, but with polymer clay, you um you have to bake it in order for it to set. So I have a little piece of polymer clay right here that I'm gonna put in here. Got my polymer clay, and I'm gonna just stick some in there, and so this. When you get this, it comes with a bunch of different, um, what you call these? Like cutting, what you call these? Cutting this. So this one got, this is the one I use to make most of my sprinkles because it has a lot. But if you look at that hole, it's pretty thin, right? So they like, say you wanted to make your hole a little bit larger see that one the holes are larger right and there's even one bigger than that see that you can make like circle um circle sprinkles with this there's a couple of different it doesn't have too many i mean they have a square one and if you wanted to make like strips or something but it doesn't come with like a whole lot of options and i did look around to see if um like if anybody just sells these with um different like styles or whatever but no it's very limited but you can make your sprinkles with it so i used where we at the round one I use this and this. I'm going to show you right now what I did. Now, you got to make sure that you keep these in a safe place because you can't use your extruder without your little disc. And it doesn't come in a little um container. got this container from the Dollar Tree. And it fits perfectly in there, right? So, you take your whichever one you want. I'm going to go with this one first. And you put it in there on the top. I mean, put the uh, top on. And this is the fun part. Back in the day, before they came out with this extruder, they had one that you pushed. Oh, that was terrible. It was so hard to use. But this right here, you see it coming out? It can't get easier than that. It can't. All you gotta do is just pull it off, and boom right that's that so i'm gonna take this tip off and i'm gonna show you the one i use for making sprinkles still got clay in there so i don't have to put any clay in there put my tip on and here we go look look how easy that is and you get look at all those sprinkles coming out at one time 
and you just cut it, grab it. I got a little um, polymer clay blade right here. Just cut it. The only good thing about, about this clay, it's not like, um, like Model Magic, it sticks to each other. It's a, I mean, this does stick to itself, but you can separate it. You can work with it. You can touch it. And when you when you get ready to bake it, you're going to put it down in strips like this. Just lay it down. Honestly, sometimes I don't even separate the strips. I mean, I just make sure they lay lengthwise, you know. And uh, I bake them. Now, this is the thing when you come to when it comes to baking them. On the package, it says to you follow the direction on the packages, but I'm gonna give you a warning. Like mine says, let me see if I it says bake at 275 for 15 minutes per one quarter inch thickness. Okay, now I put my oven, everybody's oven is different. Nobody's oven is the same. So what's going to work for me is not going to work for you, vice versa, right? I put my oven at 250 and I bake my sprinkles for 7 minutes, between 7 and 10 minutes. Anything longer than that, I always burn my sprinkles. And I can't, you know, be wasting my polymer clay. Palmer clay is not that expensive, but it's not cheap either. You know what I mean? So be warned. Do not keep it in there for too long. It will get burned. Okay? Just letting y'all know that. So cut in your polymer clay. These are already baked. Once you bake them, they get hard. These are already baked. And you just cut it. Just like I did the rest of the... um. Sprinkles, you cut them with a scissor. And you have your sprinkles. These are a little bit harder than like the Model Magic or, cause it's baked, it's, it's supposed to get hard. Now I got me some extra white sprinkles that I needed. So polymer clay, you could find polymer clay in so many colors. It's crazy. So you can make, a, and out of one pack, honey, you can make sprinkles for a long time. Out of one little pack of polymer clay. See this? sprinkles right so we got what well, how many things of polymer clay? i'm gonna put this over here so i can put it in the oven so like i baked a fat one like that and if you take your um like if you take a blade and you cut it you could get like little round circles it depends on the size of the tip that you use. Look. See that? Little round circles. It depends on the tip you use. Right? So we got, what we got? We got uh, Model Magic. We got Lanyard. We got um... Rubber bands. Now we got polymer clay. And we did the wood sticks, but I didn't like that. I was just trying something there, but you know, it's an option if you take your time. I'm sure that will come out pretty nicely, but you know, I'm not taking my time. And we also have, you know, the necklaces. 
All right, so I got another um, Model Magic one for you. So, you take your Model Magic and you roll it. Oh, come on. You roll it thin. I'm talking about, you see how thin this is? You roll it out thin and you let it dry. This is dry. This is very dry. And you're going to get you some... Hole punches. They, these hole punches, these I have it in heart, stars, and circles. I have moons and diamonds, but I have a like I had these for years. Like I told you guys, I have so much craft stuff, it's crazy. But I couldn't find my heart and my star. But I'm gonna show you. Once you let this dry, if you get your a hole punch, let's, I'm going to just do the regular round one so you guys can see. You can make tons of sprinkles, okay? Look, look at this. How easy, how easy this is. Once you let the Model Magic dry, honey, Look at this. I'm gonna I'm I'm show all the all the ones that I did. Even the um, look, wrong hand. Look, you can make all these sprink these sprinkles out of pot um not polymer clay, model magic. Let me just put two on my finger so you can see. See this? Round. Model Magic. Very thin. Like paper thin. You get you a hole punch. Make you some sprinkles, right? Then we have... I got one more for you. Well, no. I got something else. With this same... With this same um, model magic, you get you these little star plunges. These come in star, square, heart, uh, oval. I forgot what other um, what other um, shape to come in, but look, you could take it and cut your stars out. See this? You got star. I got a whole bunch right here. A whole bunch. Stars. Cause every time I need a um star, I don't have one. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make me some. So that's what I did. Just go, boom. You could do this, but it'd probably be best if you do this when the clay is soft. But still, boom another option there for you and i think that's it for this but i got one that i'm sure you probably never seen before i never seen it before so i'm gonna do it for y'all and you seen it first here now this you know how you making something with um with your spackle, like you're doing a cake, and you got just a tiny bit left, and you don't want to throw it out. you like, what am I going to do with this? Um, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with it. And I really didn't need this big old, this big old bag, but you're going to get your spackle right. You're gonna scoop it out whatever color it is i had this left over from when i did the halloween cake and i'm gonna do another video another basic video on spackle i get tons and tons and tons of requests to make 
a spackle video. So I'm going to do that. And then after that, I think we're going to hop into Valentine's. I just want to make sure that everybody that's watching is able to also fake bake, know the basics. I mean, I know I have a, a, um, a fake bake 101, but I never really went into how to make the um like spackle and how to make sprinkles and stuff like that so i figured you know while i have a little bit of time right now let me do that so okay so you're gonna need this tip it's just a round tip it's tip two it's a number two tip you can buy these tips anywhere Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Walmart. Anybody should have a number two tip or a number one or a number three. It's the same. It's just a wider tip. That's all. So what you're going to do, right? You're going to take your leftover spackle and you're just going to draw a line across like that. You're just going to draw lines until you use up all your spackle. Right? And you're gonna let this dry. Now remember, you saw this here first. And remember that I told you I used to be a real baker and I used to make real royal icing cookies and um with your leftover royal icing you can make sprinkles and I was like huh wonder if that'll work with spackle leftover spackle and it does okay so I'm just that's what I'm gonna do for now you leave it and you let that dry this is what it look like it's just lines of spackle. You're just going to let that dry. And when you finish letting it dry, you're going to get strips like this. Right? I already took some off the paper. Oh, another thing I was going to say. Use parchment paper, not wax paper, because this will stick to the wax paper. So once you get it, you're going to cut it. In strips, like how we did everything else, honey. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it up, cut it up. As a matter of fact, I already got some here. Look at this. Look at these sprinkles. This is spackle. Once you put it in strips like this, and you let it dry, and you cut it up, Sprinkles. Now, ain't that a great idea? I was like, let me try it out, see if it works. Sure enough, did. And I was excited. I was like, oh, good. Now I know what I could do with my leftover um, spackle. So, I think I made all the sprinkles I was going to make. So we have these, let me see, these are the sprinkles we made with rubber bands. See that? These are the sprinkles we made with the lanyard. These are the sprinkles we did with the Model Magic. These are my favorite. Then we have the sprinkles we did with the polymer clay, which came out pretty cool too, right? Then we have the sprinkles we made with the bottle magic and a hole punch. Then we have the ones that we made with the fondant punch, right? Then we have the ones we made with spackle, which 
I love it. These are nice too. And they're very lightweight. Very light. They're perfect. And then I showed you all the sprinkles you could get from like Dollar Tree. And um, like this, when you see a necklace or something, you could get. All right, guys. So I think I covered. Oh, and the ones we did with the wood, with the toothpick. I'm not happy about that one, but it is what it is, right? Guys, here's a close-up of the sprinkles. Lanyard sprinkles. See how pretty those look? Right? And then you got your rubber band sprinkles. Those are pretty, too. You get those in a lot of colors. You don't have to mix them up like that. You could just do one color if you want just one color. And these are all the ones we did with Model Magic. We used the plunger. Then we rolled out. We rolled out some and cut it up. Then we used a hole punch for these. Right? Then we did the Scopey, which is the one you have to bake and put in the oven. Then we did the one with the um, spackle, the leftover spackle. These looks great. They make great sprinkles. So there you go, guys. I just want to make sprinkles, you know, so everybody can have. You can't go out and buy sprinkles. You can surely make you some, and these are really cheap and cost-effective. So, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have an idea for making sprinkles that I missed, let me know about it in the comments. Share it with the rest of us. Because I try to figure out as many <laughs> ways as I could to make sprinkles. But I don't know all of the, you know, the techniques or whatever. But I know one thing. That this spackle sprinkles, that's my original idea. I have not seen anybody do that. And I tried it and tested it out and it works. And guys, that's one way to make sprinkles with your leftover spackle. And add to the collection of sprinkles. So, anyways. Until the next video, guys. Be safe. Stay healthy. Keep crafting. And I'll catch you in the next video. God bless you guys. Bye.